everyone, I'm Harry, welcome to my channel, and today we're going to look at the Delay Llama Extreme by Jam Pedals. So before we get started, if you like this demo video at any point, please leave a like, comment and subscribe, and hit the little bell notification for me as well. It really does help me out a lot, and that way you won't miss out on any of my future uploads. There's going to be affiliate links down in the description to every piece of gear I used in this video, and to record my videos. These do help support the channel out further, so I'd really appreciate if you go and check them out. So the Delay Llama Extreme is a take on Jam Pedal's original analog Delay Llama pedal, but with a bunch of new features. So like I said, it's all analog, and we can have a max delay time of up to 800 milliseconds. We have a couple of toggles switches on the front we have a kill dry switch a trail switch that allows you to turn off the pedal and still have your delay carry on and then we have a subdivision switch as well that goes from quarter notes to eighth notes or dotted eighth notes on the side of the pedal we have some input you can control the delay time with an expression pedal we have the ps input for external preset control and also an external tap tempo if needed and then of course we have tap tempo built into the pedal for use with the subdivisions so like i said there's a bunch of different extreme eyes that give us different flavors of delay so you can either use the middle foot switch to cycle through presets or you can hold it down to go into the extreme modes. A quick note, the tap foot switch can either be used as a tap tempo or as an oscillation switch as long as it's held down. If you hold down the black alt knob and press the tap tempo to cycle through the different extreme modes. So mode one is the vibrato sine wave LFO modulation with alt controls for speed and depth. We have depth on the repeats control and speed on the level control. Mode 2 is a tape age mode that emulates slight and random pitch variations of a physical worn down tape found in vintage tape echo machines that alt controls the frequency of the deviation occurrences. Mode 3 is called random, which randomly changes the delay time millisecond value of the repeats over fixed increments resulting in abrupt pitch and rhythmic changes. And finally, Mode 4 is a pitch shifting mode, which will give you five distinct pitch shift intervals and five playback patterns, last of which is a five mode sequencer. So while we're in this mode, if you hold down the alt control and move the repeats control to the little dots, the first dot will be an octave up and down, the second dot will be a second up and a seventh down, the third dot will be a fourth up and a fifth down, the fourth dot will be a fifth up and a fourth down and then the fifth dot will be a ninth up and seventh down to select the different playback patterns we hold down the black alt control and move the level control again there's five dots for five different patterns and the fifth one being a five mode sequencer and in this mode the sequences are selected by the alt plus the repeats control from one to five so the guitar i'm going to be using for this demo is this 1956 rooster gold top with monty's 54 p90 pickups the amp i'm running into is my hampstead art is 60 plus rt which is one of my favorite clean pedal platform amps that's also running into the Time King Iron Man 2 Attenuator just to knock off a few dBs and then into a Celestian G12M 65 Cream Bat speaker that's been recorded by a Lewitt MTP 440 dynamic microphone which is like an SM57 with a tiny bit more bass. So the gold top straight to the amp sounds like this. <laughs> Thank you. 
So there we have it. That was a look at the Delay Llama Extreme from Jam Pedals. 100% analog delay with up to 800 milliseconds of the delay time. This is a really killer delay pedal. By far my favorite analog delay pedal. I really personally love the standard mode, the vibrato mode, and the tape age mode. But then if you want to get some more experimental delay times, you can use the random mode and the pitch shift mode as well. It's kind of amazing how much they've crammed into this. It's quite a big unit, but it's understandable for how much you get in there. We have the tap tempo with the subdivisions, the self-oscillation if you hold that down, the presets, the expression control for the delay time, the external presets input, and an external tap tempo. You have the trail switch, the kill dry, and of course the four different extreme modes as well. The vibrato sine wave LFO, the tape age, the random, and the pitch shift. I have this on my board because it's just the best analog delay I've ever played. It's so rich sounding and so much flexibility with all those different modes as well. But let me know down in the comments what you thought of the Delay Llama Extreme and if you go and pick one up for yourself. Again, there's going to be affiliate links down in the description to the Delay Llama Extreme and all the gear I used in this video and to record my videos. These do help support the channel out further, so I'd really appreciate if you go and check them out. If you did like this demo video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and hit the little bell notification for me as well. It really does help me out a lot and that way you won't be sounding in my future uploads other than that go onto my channel check out some of my playlists have plenty more lessons covers gear demos how to sound like videos and anything guitar related as always i've been harry and thanks for watching